So it's down at the bottom of this giant, just red rock ravine. And uh, there it is. Welcome to Incredible, where we discover the weird and wonderful in this world. A mysterious monolith materialized in an isolated part of the United States, leading to questions as to who put it there and what it could mean. As tantalizing a tale as this is, it only seems to be the beginning as the first monolith has disappeared and a second has appeared, this time thousands of miles away in Europe. Finally tonight, a very curious sighting in a remote part of the country, a mysterious metal structure that offers a lot more questions than answers. Wildlife officials minding their own business, counting bighorn sheep from a helicopter last week, looked down and spotted this. What the heck is that? On 18th November 2020, a monolith was discovered in a remote canyon in southeast Utah by government workers flying in a helicopter as part of a survey monitoring bighorn sheep. Immediately, people wondered who had placed the monolith there and what it meant. However, Utah's Department of Public Safety refused to release any information on the monolith's location because it's in a very remote area and if individuals were to attempt to visit the area, there is a significant possibility that they might become stranded and require rescue. Naturally, the public jumped at the opportunity to check out the monolith, with a number of people managing to track down the object's location, including the Discovery Channel's Dave Sparks, who stars in Diesel Brothers. Look, we found it. So, pulled out the compass here, and uh, this side of it is pointed directly due north. Some people on Reddit even claim to have used Google Maps to estimate the Utah monolith's construction as around 2015 or 2016. Before long, posts on Reddit showed people checking out the monolith and even sitting on top of it. A report at the website IFL Science noted, it is made of one-eighth sheet steel that is riveted on the seams. Reddit user The Weird Turn Pro wrote on Reddit, there is an amount of insulation inside dampening when you strike it. There is epoxy along the base. Whether or not this report was accurate, it led to more would-be adventurers descending on the scene, including self-professed adventure photographer Ross Bernards. Bernards appears to have arrived at just the right moment, which makes us wonder whether this was a coincidence or convenience. He decided to investigate the monolith and track it down along with some of his friends. They began photographing it when four men showed up and began dismantling the monolith. He posted his discovery on Instagram saying, they quickly broke it apart as they were carrying the wheelbarrow that they had brought. One of them looked back at us and said, leave no trace. He claims the four men broke the monolith down into pieces and took the pieces away in wheelbarrows. It's important to remember that many of these claims need to be verified and considering the media's reputation for sloppy reporting, these claims need to be taken with a healthy dose of skepticism. Utah's Borough of Land Management issued a press release acknowledging the monolith had been dismantled and taken away, reminding the public that the monolith had been illegally erected on federal land. Acesta este monolitul de pe busca doamnei de la cetate. De fapt, monolitul este o tablă obosită pusă de cineva. A similar monolith appeared not long after in Romania, with observers noting it was similar to the Utah monolith but had scratches and etchings on it. The monolith's sudden appearance led to logical speculation whether the two were connected. There was little time to investigate, however, as the monolith disappeared on 30th November. Better known in Romania as St. Andrew's Day, a holiday where supernatural activity is believed to be high. Like the first monolith, there was little left behind, only adding to the mystery. And just when you thought the monolith mysteries were quietening down, a third monolith appeared, this time in California. Just last night, a third mysterious monolith showed up in Southern California. The California monolith sits at the top of the Pine Mountain hiking trail in Southern California. The New York Post reported a runner named Gary Linsons discovered a monolith on 2nd December. The silver structure which resembled the other two monoliths sits atop Pine Mountain in Ascadera, a city in San Luis Obispo County. According to the Atascadero News, the three-sided obelisk appeared to be made of stainless steel, 10 feet tall and 18 inches wide. The object was welded together at each corner with rivets attaching the side panels to a likely steel frame inside. The top of the monument did not show any weld marks, it appears to be hollow at the top and possibly bottom. The news article notes that unlike the Utah model, this one is not anchored to the ground and the 200-pound structure could likely be tipped over. 
The structure's material was compared to the stainless steel used in stove hoods in a commercial kitchen. Well, the reason or reasons behind the monolith are where the fun begins, with answers ranging from the ridiculous to the plausible. Let's look at the current speculation. Number 1. An alien artifact There's the obvious and possibly oddball answer that the monolith was placed by aliens or their agents. Since the object appears man-made, this seems unlikely, especially if you believe Ross Bernard's story that four men took it apart. Number 2. A leftover movie prop While this doesn't apply to the Romanian monolith, some people suggested the first one was a leftover movie prop since Utah's Red Rock Country has been used as a location for films including Star Trek, Mission Impossible and Indiana Jones. However, according to the New York Times article, there are no records of a monolith being used in any film production. Number 3. A tribute to the film 2001 A Space Odyssey The monolith's resemblance to the monoliths in Stanley Kubrick's 1968 science fiction film 2001 A Space Odyssey has led to speculation that one or more persons are honouring the late film director by placing the monoliths up. In the film, the monoliths are set up by aliens as part of a grand scheme to jumpstart humanity's civilization. Number 4. A piece of art Officials in Utah believe the monolith is a type of environmental artwork. Some art experts liken the monolith to similar work by the artist John McCracken, who died in 2011. Artist Dan Toon, a metal sculptor, was asked if the work was his, but denies any involvement with the monolith. Number 5. A Publicity Stunt There's always the possibility that the monolith is some sort of publicity stunt to promote a new product or movement. If another one pops up soon, we should have answers soon as more people, including government officials, focus on it more than the past two monoliths. Could Hollywood be attempting to remake 2001? Number 6. An Elaborate Hoax Although the monoliths have gone up in two distinct locations, the internet makes it easy for a group of pranksters to pull off an elaborate con, whether it's people constructing the monolith or people posting stories that support the narrative of a mysterious narrative. However, the more people who are involved, the more likely it is that someone will spill the beans. And number 7. A copycat creation Are the two monoliths related? Right now, that's one of the biggest questions in the mystery, as the two being connected would mean elaborate planning by the individuals involved. However, could one or more persons in Romania have heard about the Utah monolith and decided to create a mystery of their own? Well, one thing's for sure, 2020 has been a bad year for many people and the mystery of the monolith seems like a much-needed distraction from the pandemic and the many problems stemming from it. What do you think the monolith is and why have individuals gone to such lengths to set it up? Let us know in the comments down below and we'll see you next time with some more incredible videos.